Hello and welcome to Fire Excellence Tutorials. Well, we have a question here under circular motion and the question says, a sample of blood is placed in a centrifuge of radius 15 centimeter. Uh, the mass of the red blood cell is 3.0 times 10 to the power negative 16 kg. And the magnitude of the net force acting on it as it settles out of the plasm is four by 10 to the power negative 11 Newton. At how many revolutions uh, per second should the centrifuge be operated? All right, so here we're going to take note to say the force, this force that we have been given, is the force that is causing the centripetal or the centrifuge to be moving or rotating like that. So this rotation that is going on, now, what is the force? It's this force that we've been given. So we know that force is given by mass times acceleration. Now, this acceleration is centripetal acceleration. So force is going to be the mass, v squared over r. So I think this one is basically more straightforward. So it's going to be r times force mv squared. So V squared is going to be R times force over M. So V is basically the square root of that. So I'll write from here. So you can see that this is a straightforward. So the radius 15 centimeter is basically 0 0.15 meters. And we are multiplying by four times 10 the power negative 11 Newton, right, over the mass, which is three times 10 to the power negative 16 kg. So what will be the speed? So if we, there we get 141.4 meter per second. Right, so now this we've gotten is the tangential speed. So now our, we need to get this speed in a revolution per second, or we need to get the angular speed. So we know that tangential speed is given by that. So angular speed is going to be velocity over radius. So we're going to have 141.4 meter per second over the radius, which is 0 0.15 meters. So the angular speed is going to be 942.8 rad per second excuse me excuse me all right rad per second which we convert again to rev so we know one rev over two by rad so the angular speed is going to be 100 50 rev per second. So this is the angular velocity or angular speed of, uh, of this uh, centrifuge or that the angular speed at which the centrifuge should be operated at. Yeah, so that is how we get that one. So if you have loved this video and um, yeah, you've enjoyed, Make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you have not yet subscribed. And also, you can also share with your friends and give me comments, give me likes. Uh, that will give me motivation to keep on doing this. Uh, thank you so very much. Otherwise, for your time.